So I'm here today uh, because York was shortlisted as one of the six uh, towns and cities as part of our competition for the location of GBRHQ. Um, so York was one of uh, out of 42 actually, so uh, great bid. But I've really been struck here by what I've seen, um, by the enthusiasm that I've seen and um, the people that I've listened to, the vast arrangement um, of stakeholder engagement and involvement in the bid, that's from councillors to MPs, uh, local businesses, different sectors from across uh, York and importantly also education and industry. So I've really been struck by what I've been shown, uh, the opportunities that are here um, and that sense that this is about York's got a proud history but York is also looking to the future. Yes. There certainly is um, a public vote, it's a consultative public vote, so it's one element of the six criteria that we'll be looking at alongside levelling up opportunities, uh, value for money is also really important as well, but it is an opportunity for people from uh, not just York or anywhere in the country to actually um, make their view uh, known and you just do that by going to the GBRTT website where you can uh, register your vote and voting continues until one minute to midnight on the 15th of August. So GBRHQ, once we've chosen the location, it will mean that there will be jobs coming to York as part of that HQ. It's also a big, a big part of the government's agenda around rail reform, around the creation of Great British Railways, which is putting the track and the train closer together, putting the passengers at the, at the heart and focus of, of what we do. But I think it's much more than that. It's about, it's about the greater opportunities.